Hi, thank you for joining us today. My name is Yvonne Sullivan and I'm founder and educator at Beauty Training Harrow Fast Track Training Centre. And now we're ready to degrease the nail. And we do this in order to remove any oil, you know, from any of the products that we've used because we need it to be nice, no debris, um, no dust. I'm just ready, so preparing the nail for the nail polish application. In doing so, I'm using lint-free pads. The reason we do this is to avoid any like fluffy cotton wool bits on here because that will show through onto your nail polish application later and you really don't want to be getting into trouble with this. Um, also, we're using non-acetone nail polish remover and the reason we do this is that again it's not as damaging to the nail as other products that you may find on the market so when you are buying your nail polish remover please do remember non-acetone is the best. You can see the difference where slight bits of oil is on this nail so we need to remove it. Any old nail polish that might be from previous that we haven't removed you do and make sure that we get everything off at this point. Lovely, and next step we're going to apply our base coat. Two top coats of colour, sorry, two coats of colour and then our top coat. Okay. okay, when we're applying our base coat I like to physically hold my bottle in my hand because I just, again, it just gives that sense of security. When I'm taking my base coat away out of my bottle I'm going to clean one side completely because what I don't want to do is for it to fl if I didn't do it it'll just going to flood and we don't want to have that so you're going to clean one side completely and leave a little bit on the opposite side remembering also that some nails are larger than others so you're going to need more product but for the small nail we need very little I'm going to walk up the nail with my base coat because what I don't want is again to flood into my cuticles but we do touch up to the cuticle, down the sides, in the same way you're going to do with your actual polish application later. Now the reason we use a base coat is to prevent staining of the nails. So if you're a nail polish lover, um, it's really good that you do this. There are some really good products on the market. I tend to like C&D at the moment, LCN are another really good product, Brand Meg. OPI and you know if you get good products they do last longer the finish is really quite nice okay so I think this walking up is really a nice technique as well especially if you're at home and you're you know not an experienced and not a pro at painting your nails it's a really nice technique you know for you to start out with Okay, now we're going to apply your colour. Same technique as base coat, we're going to clear one side of your bottle so that one side of your brush is free of polish and then we've got it on the opposite side. We're going to apply a little straight line across and this is where having pushed back your cuticles is really important because now it won't flood into your cuticles. So we do one stroke across and one down lightly bringing, it's like feathering, it's so light what I'm doing because if I pushed hard on my brush it would like give little marks. Again a little brush across the top and any debris we can clean with our finger or any like it's called flooding and we can clean with the finger or another little technique we can use is use a cocktail stick. Have you got this one down there? Okay so um, this is quite good because it's so fine so if I wanted to take that little piece away I could have done it with a cocktail stick which is quite useful. Okay so again nice amount of polish and just gently glide it along. Don't be in a hurry or in a rush you have to wait for your polish to come off the back of your brush. If you need more polish just dip in again clean the sides and nice little lines, like I said, it's like a feathering technique. 
nice and gentle off the brush and down the side and one little stroke across the top to secure and it kind of seals your nail polish and I like to use just a little cocktail stick if I just get any on the sides and repeat on each finger I think you'll also see the benefit now um, of using and having your good quality high professional tools as in your cuticle nippers and cutters and that we've done such a good job on the cuticles that now our polish is not flooding in there and you get a lovely pristine finish. And again, you can see I'm holding my bottle and it gives me security. It makes my hands feel secure. I'm holding the nail quite securely and my polish so everything is nice and firm. And I'm not going to have spillage. Okay, so this is our first coat of color. We repeat second coat and then finally we will do our top coat. This is our second coat. So you can now see the depth of color and it's beginning to give a really nice finish. Sometimes depending on the quality of the nail polish, you may have to do a very third light coat and sometimes with you know the really modern colors, the neon colors, somehow you can see through them a little bit. So you may require a third but very light coat. You don't want putting nail polish on too thickly because you'll find within a few hours or the next day it's just going to lift. Nail polish should last you, a really good nail polish and a nice manicure should last you up to four to seven days. And you can see on the second application, I am just getting that little bit closer, as close as I possibly can to the cuticle and making sure that I get down the sides. I think again, if you look closely at the way I apply nail polish, You'll see it's a nice, really quite an easy technique to master. So here we do need to go a little bit closer to the cuticle and just take it nice and slow. Wait for your actual polish to come from, your, you know, the back of your brush and nice little feathering strokes. And wait for your brush now, can you see? Again, we're moving the skin away from the nail so that we can get into the corners and down the sides of the nail. Lovely, okay. So now we're going to apply our top coat. Okay, so with our top coat, again, same principle, but don't overload your brush. That's kind of the key thing. Just take the amount that you feel is a good, is that it's not going to flood the minute you get it or drop in, you know, that you're in control of it, okay? So again, we're gonna walk up because if you get it into the cuticles, as it grows out in a couple of days time, it's just not very nice. It'll stick to the newly growing cuticles. But you do still have to cover the whole nail in the same way you would polish. So don't think it's okay to leave a little bit or to leave the sides. And the reason we use our top coat is just to give it that nice, shiny, healthy, finished look. And it is really nice. You like it, Haley? Yes, thank you. Okay. 
we should then put our client's hands in under the dryers or perhaps um, just leave it in a cool area, just making sure that you're not going out directly, that you have left time, you know, to allow the nails to dry because it's a bit like painting your house, you know, you, you, it really does take time to dry. So I would say about 40 minutes to an hour to let them dry, you know, while on the surface they may seem quite dry, it's actually, you know, we've put a base coat, two coats of polish and your top coat, so it does need time to dry properly. And if you do that, it will again ensure that your manicure will last a good four to five, seven days for you. Okay, Hayley, you like? Yeah, it's lovely. Thank okay, you. happy with the colour? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just ask you not to do anything for about three to four hours mm -hmm. and just let it dry from the inside. And, you know, if you leave it and follow the aftercare advice, then, you know, it will last you up to two weeks. No, well, a week to two weeks, really, yeah. realistically. Um, lovely. And if you just avoid, you know, don't use your hands, obviously, for gardening, if we're, you know, rubber gloves. Or if it's cold outside, just put some nice other gloves on to protect it and make it last as long as we can. Good. Do you have any questions? Um, no, I'm really happy. Okay, Thanks shall we much. book you in for, say, two weeks again? Two weeks again. Okay, lovely. Thanks, okay, Hayley. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.